Hey guys, it's Ami and more. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these Oogie Boogie ears from Nightmare Before Christmas. You may remember my Jack Skellington tutorial which you can also find on my YouTube channel. But here they are in burlap color and they are detachable so you can interchange them as you please. I also made Oogie Boogie in the color green because sometimes you see him in the green color. But what's nice about this green yarn, it's glow in the dark. So if you turn off the light, both of the Jack and Oogie Boogie glow. I also like to use a UV flashlight to make them glow even brighter. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get started! And here are the materials you'll need. You'll need green glow-in-the-dark yarn and a 2cm wide headband, black worsted weight acrylic yarn, you'll also need a chenille stem, a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook, polyfill stuffing, scissors, yarn needle, and a stitch marker. I like to use a bobby pin. This is optional but I like to use a UV flashlight so that when there's no sun and it's dark outside, you can still make your stuff glow. For Oogie Boogie, we will use green glow-in-the-dark yarn and we're going to make a slip knot and for round one, we'll chain two so that is one and two and into our first chain, we will do four single crochet stitches so that is one two three and four and then we can pull it tight and then you're gonna ignore that and then this is our first stitch in our next round we're going to stay at four single crochet stitches so we're going to do one and one in our next stitch as well then one and then we are going to do into our last stitch for our second round just one then you can use a stitch marker to mark the end of your round and then you'll want to flip it inside out so that the correct part is showing on the outside then we're going to continue to do one in each stitch around for two more rounds until you get to round four so go ahead and work up your stitches and here's how it looks like after round four now for round five we are going to do two and one 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 and we'll have five stitches at the end so in our first stitch we're going to do one and into the same stitch that is two then it's going to be one one and into our very last stitch just one single crochet stitch then we're going to put back our stitch marker and now for round 6 through 8, we're going to stay at 5 single crochet stitches. So it's just 1 single crochet in each stitch around. So go ahead and work up your stitches and do one in each one around and I will meet you at the end of round 8. And here's how it looks like after round 8. For round 9, we are going to do 2 and then 1, 1, 1, 1 and we'll have 6 single crochet stitches. So that is 1 and 2 into the same stitch and then it's 1, 
one, one, and then to our very last stitch, just one, and now we should have six single crochet stitches all together. For rounds 10 and 11, we're going to stay at six single crochet stitches. So it's just one in each stitch around. So go ahead and work up your stitches and I will meet you at the end of round 11. And here's how it looks like after round 11. For round 12, our pattern is two, one, one, two, one, one. And they'll have eight single crochet stitches. So this is going to be one and two into the same stitch and one and one. Repeat again, we'll have two, one, one. So that is one and two and one and last stitch, one. We'll change our stitch marker. And for round 13, our pattern is two, one, 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 two, one, 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 and we'll have 10 single crochet stitches. So that is one and two into the same stitch. That is one, one, and one. Repeat again, that is two, one, one, one. So that is one and two, and one, one, and our very last stitch, just one, and now we should have 10 single crochet stitches all together. For round 14, our pattern is two, and in our next four, one, and two, and our next four, and you'll have 12 single crochet stitches. So that's one and two, and it's going to be one, two, three, and four. Repeat again, it's two. That is one and two into the same stitch, and in the next four, just one. So that's one, two, three, and four. Now we should have 12 single crochet stitches all together. For round 15, our pattern is two, one, 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 two, one, one, one. Repeat around and you'll have 15 single crochets, but we only want to go through the front loop only. So that's going to be only the front loop, which is right there. So we're going to do two here, one and two, and into the front loop only. It's going to be one, one, and one. Repeat again, there's going to be the two here, so that's going to be one and two, and then in our next three, just one. So that's one, one, and one. Repeat one last time. That's going to be two in the front loop there. So that's one and two. Then it's going to be one, one, and one into our last stitch. And now we should have 15 single crochets in the front loop only. So if you look, there's like a little ridge right there. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that now. So now you're going to get your chenille stem or pipe cleaner. And you're going to fold it in half and cut it in half. So it's going to be one for each oogie boogie ear we make. Fold it in half again. And then one of the ends I like to fold a little bit at the tip. So that will later make it easier to um, pull it. So now we want to insert the Chanel stick or pipe cleaner into the stem part of our project. So we're going to put it in. 
then we want to pull out one of the tips through the loop that we have so I'm gonna grab the tip that I folded over and use my hook to pull it out okay now I should have both tips one tip under the loop and one tip by itself and now I'm going to twist the ends of the pipe cleaner together then I'm going to fold it down so I don't have the pointy part sticking out anymore and that way now with the Chanel stick inside the stem we can mold the stem part however we like and it'll keep its shape okay now we're ready to continue crocheting on to the next part for round 16 our pattern is two and then next four just one repeat the pattern all the way around and you'll have 18 single crochet stitches so that's one and two and then it's going to be one two three and four repeat again that's two and then our next four just one so that's one and two and then it's one two three four repeat one last time that's two and then one in the next four so that's one and two and then one two three and then that last stitch just four right there and then we'll put our stitch marker back now for round 17 our pattern is two and in our next eight just one repeat one more time and you'll have 20 single crochet stitches so that is one and two and then it's one two three four five six seven eight repeat one more time that's two there and then one all the way around so that's one and two and that's one two three four five six seven and eight now you should have 20 single crochet stitches around for round 18 we're going to stay at 20 single crochet stitches so it's one in each stitch around so go ahead and work up your stitches round 19 our pattern is two and in the next nine just one repeat around and you'll have 22 single crochet stitches so that is one and two into the same stitch then it's one two three four five six seven eight and nine repeat one more time it's going to be two and then single crochet the rest around so that's one and two and then it's going to be one oops okay it's going to be one and two and then single crochet the rest of the stitches around. For round 20, we're going to stay at 22 single crochet stitches. So it's just one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. For round 21, our pattern is two, and in the next 10, just one, two, and next 10, just one, and you'll have 24 single crochet stitches. So that it's one and two, and then the next 10, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten and then our pattern is two and then ten single crochet stitches around so that's one and two and then it's going to be single crochet stitches 
around. For rounds 22 to 24, we're going to stay at 24 single crochet stitches. So just do one single crochet stitch in each stitch around and I will meet you at the end of round 24. And here's how our project looks like and you'll want to stuff it lightly with some stuffing. And this is how it looks like after stuffing. As you can see from the sides, I don't stuff it too much. Now we're going to sew the bottom close with slip stitch across. But we only want to um, do the slip stitches through where the bottom loops are touching when you fold it in half. So we're only going to go through the loops that are touching and do a slip stitch and then go through only the touching loops and continue to slip stitch all the way across. So now you are going to chain one and turn. Then we're going to do slip stitch on the border of one side only. So on the outside loops, we are just going to slip stitch across just this one side right here. So we are going to go all the way across. And it should be about 12 slip stitch that we do. Okay, so we went with slip stitch all the way across. And now on the other side, we are only going to do 3 slip stitch on the outside loops. So that's 1, 2, 3. So we're going to go into 1 two and three now we're going to work in rows and do single crochet across seven stitches only so that is one two three four five six and seven now for rows two through five, we're going to chain one and turn. And we're going to do single crochet across seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So go ahead and work up three more rows of the same and I will meet you at the end of row five. So now this is how it looks like after five rows. And then go ahead and cut off a long tail and fasten off. For the brow with green glow in the dark, yarn you are going to chain seven that is one two three four five six seven and then you're going to do single crochet back across that is one two three four five and six and then we are going to um, cut off a long tail and fasten off and here is your first brow completed and you'll want to make two brows in total for the next part i like to use the 4.0 millimeter crochet hook but it is optional 
40 eyes with black yarn in worsted weight acrylic yarn you are going to chain five that is one two three four and five then you are going to slip stitch in the previous chain and then do single crochet in the next two so that's one single crochet in our next stitch and our next stitch is one single crochet and then slip stitch in our very last chain and then on the other side of the chain we are going to go ahead and do a slip stitch in the first chain so let's go ahead and do a slip stitch and in our next three chains we are going to do single crochets so that's going to be one single crochet stitch and in our next stitch two single crochet next stitch is going to be three single crochet stitch and then our very last we are going to do a slip stitch then you are going to cut off the long tail and fasten off and here is our eye completed and you'll want to make two for the mouth with black yarn you are going to go ahead and chain 13 so that is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and then we are going to go ahead and do slip stitch all the way back across for 12 slip stitches so that is one two three continue to slip stitch all the way across and this is the last slip stitch so now we're going to fasten off and cut off a long tail and here is your mouth completed